Prithu Sanskrit, Prithu Prithu, lit. Large, Great, Important, Abundant, is a sovereign Chakravartin, named in the Vedic scriptures of ancient India. According to Hindu mythology, he is an avatar incarnation of the preserver god Vishnu. He is also called Prithu, Prithi, and Prithu Vaniya, literally, Prithu the son of Vena. Prithu is celebrated as the first consecrated king, from whom the earth received her Sanskrit name Prithvi. He is mainly associated with the legend of his chasing the earth goddess, Prithvi, who fled in the form of a cow and eventually agreed to yield her milk as the world's grain and vegetation. The epic Mahabharata and text Vishnu Purana describes him as a part avatar incarnation of Vishnu. Legends The birth of Prithu is without female intervention. Thus being a yoniya, born without the participation of the yoni, Prithu is untouched by desire and ego and can thus control his senses to rule dutifully upholding dharma. The Mahabharata traces Prithu's lineage from Vishnu. The almighty Vishnu created a human named Varahas to rule the earth and bring order to the humans. Varahas lost his desire to rule the earth after beholding Vishnu and became an ascetic. Varaya's son was Kritimat, who became an ascetic. Kritimat's son was Kardama. Kardama's son was Ananga and Ananga's son was Atibala. Atibala, also called Anga, conquered the earth and ruled well. Atibala married Meridiu's daughter, Sunita and had a son named Vena. Vena's son would be Prithu. The Bhagavata Purana and Vishnu Purana tells the story of Prithu, King Vena, from the lineage of the pious Dhruva, was an evil king, who neglected Vedic rituals. Thus the rishis sages killed him, leaving the kingdom without an heir and in famine due to the anarchy of Vena. So, the sages churned Vena's body, out of which first appeared a dark dwarf hunter, a symbol of Vena's evil. Since the sins of Vena had gone away as the dwarf, the body was now pure. On further churning, Prithu emerged from right arm of the corpse. To end the famine by slaying the earth and getting her fruits, Prithu chased the earth Prithvi, who fled as a cow. Finally, cornered by Prithu, the earth states that killing her would mean the end of his subjects too. So Prithu lowered his weapons and reasoned with the earth and promised her to be her guardian. Finally, Prithu milked her using Manu as a calf, and received all vegetation and grain as her milk, in his hands for welfare of humanity. Before Prithu's reign, there was no cultivation, no pasture, no agriculture, no highway for merchants. All civilization emerged in Prithu's rule. By granting life to the earth and being her protector, Prithu became the earth's father and she accepted the patronymic name, Prithvi. However, the Manu Smriti considers Prithvi as Prithu's wife and not his daughter, and thus suggests the name, Prithvi is named after her husband, Prithu. The Vayu Purana records that when born, Prithu stood with a bow, arrows and an armor, ready to destroy the earth, which was devoid of Vedic rituals. Terrified, the earth fled in form of a cow and finally submitted to Prithu's demands, earning him the title Chakravartin sovereign. Prithu is the first king, recorded to earn the title. The creator god Brahma is described to have recognized Prithu as an avatar of Vishnu, as one of Prithu's birthmark was Vishnu's chakram discus on his hand and thus Prithu was numbered amongst the human gods. According to Oldham, the title Chakravarti may be derived from this birthmark, and may not be indicative of universal dominion. Prithu was worshipped as an incarnation of Vishnu in his lifetime and now is considered a Naga demi-god. Shatapatha Brahmana verse 3.5.4 calls him the first anointed king and Vayu Purana calls him Adiraja, first king. The epic Mahabharata states that Vishnu crowned Prithu as the sovereign and entered the latter's body so that everyone bows to the king as to god Vishnu. Now, the king was endowed with Vishnu's greatness on earth. Further, Dharma righteousness, Shri goddess of wealth, beauty and good fortune and Artha purpose, material prosperity established themselves in Prithu. Topic. Reign Prithu became the first true king. He became a Kshatriya after he healed the Brahmanas of their wounds, inflicted by Prithu's tyrannical father, Vena. After acquiring many presents from the gods, Prithu conquered and ruled the earth as well as the Devas, Asuras, Yakshas, Rikshasas and Nagas in all glory. It was where the Satya Yuga reached its pinnacle. Prithu liberated his father Vena, from the hell called Put, hence all sons are called Putras. 
Practicing detachment, Prithu ruled according to the Vedas and the Dandaniti. His capital is believed to be somewhere in modern-day Haryana. Prithu used his Kshatriya power to make the earth yield its riches. Hence the earth is called Prithvi, daughter of Prithu. Prithu, by mere fiat of will, created millions of men, elephants, chariots and horses. During his reign, there was no decrepitude, no calamity, no famine, no disease, no agriculture and no mining. Prithu enjoyed popularity amongst his subjects, hence all kings are called rajas. Cows yielded buckets of rich milk when they were touched. Trees and lotuses always had honey in them. People were healthy and happy and had no fear of thieves or wild animals. Nobody died of accidents. Kusha grass was golden in color. Fruits were always sweet and ripe and nobody went hungry. People lived in houses or caves or trees or wherever they liked. For the first time, civilization and commerce came into existence. Prithu himself shattered many mountains with his arrows and made the earth even. He had divine powers of creating or disappearing any mundane object with his mental power, ability to play musical instruments, sing and act. His chariot could travel over land, water and air with complete ease. Mountains made way for Prithu on his chariot and his flagstaff was never entangled when Prithu traveled through dense forests as the trees made way for him. Prithu practiced charity and donated colossal amounts of gold to the Brahmanas. Prithu appointed Shukracharya, the son of Brigu and Garga, the son of Anjirasa as his preceptors. The Valakilias, a group consisting of 60,000 thumb-sized ascetics and known for their genius, became Prithu's counselors. The Atharvaveda credits him of the invention of plowing and thus, agriculture. He is also described as one who flattened the earth's rocky surface, thus encouraging agriculture, cattle breeding, commerce and development of new cities on earth. In a hymn in Rigveda, Prithu is described as a rishi seer. D. R. Patil suggests that the Rigvedic Prithu was a vegetarian deity, associated with Greek god Dionysus and another Vedic god Soma. Bhagavata Purana further states that Prithu performed 99 Ashwamedha yagnas, horse sacrifices, but Indra, kings of the demi gods, disturbed Prithu's hundredth one. The yagya was abandoned, Vishnu gave Prithu his blessings, and Prithu forgave Indra for the latter's theft of the ritual horse. It also states that the four Kumaras, the four sage incarnations of Vishnu, preached Prithu about devotion to Vishnu. After governing his kingdom for a long time, Prithu left with his wife Archie, to perform penance in the forest in his last days. He experienced samadhi and voluntarily gave up his body in the forest, and Archie went sati on his funeral pyre. Topic. Wives and children Apart from Prithvi who is sometimes considered the daughter or wife of Prithu, Prithu has a wife called Archie and five sons. Archie, emerged from Vena's body, along with Prithu and is considered as an avatar of goddess Lakshmi, the wife of Vishnu. Prithu's son Vijitswa, became the sovereign and controlled the middle of the kingdom. Prithu's other sons, Haryaksha, Dumrakesha, Virika and Dravina ruled the east, south, west and north of kingdom respectively. Topic. Symbolism O'Flaherty interprets the myth of Prithu his transformation from a hunter who chased the earth cow to the herdsman farmer as a transition in Vedic or Hindu people from eating beef to having cow's milk and cultivated vegetables and grain instead of beef. David Shulman compares Prithu with the Vedic deity Rudra Shiva. Prithu, like Rudra, is an ideal king, but with a violent side. Prithu's actions of chasing the earth cow as a hunter and finally milking her, display this terrifying side of the king. Both, Prithu and Rudra, are closely associated with sacrifice. <inaudible> <inaudible> Celebration in Indian society Chinese scholar Haiyuan Sang c. 640 AD records the existence of the town Pahawa, named after Prithu who is said to be the first person that obtained the title Raja king. Another place associated with Prithu is Prithudaka lit. Prithu's pool, a town on banks of Sarasvati River, where Prithu is believed to have performed the shraddha of his father. The town is referred as the boundary between northern and central India and referred to by Patanjali as the modern Pahawa, Sriman Narayan, one of the protagonists of Indian Panchayati Raj movement, tracing its origin, writes. 
It is believed that the system was first introduced by King Prithu while colonizing the Dobe between the Ganges and Jamuna. References Notes Bibliography Najendra Kumar Singh Encyclopedia of Hinduism. On Mole Publications. ISBN 978-81-7488-168-7. Wendy Doniger O'Flaherty Other People's Myths, The Cave of Echoes. University of Chicago Press. ISBN 0-226-61857-9. Topic. External links Srimad Bhagavatam text, publisher Iskand